Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the right rear burner valve in your range, first unplug the power cord and shut off the gas supply. Now lift off the three grates. Next, remove all of the burner caps and the burner bases. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the 15 screws, securing the main top to the orifice holders. Now insert a putty knife under the main top to release the retaining clips. You can now fully remove the main top. Next, note the location of the burner control knobs, then remove them. Unthread the eight screws, securing the burner control panel. You will need to open the oven door to access the lower screws. With the screws unthreaded, pull off the control panel. Now remove the spark switch from the right rear burner stem. Use a half-inch wrench to unthread the nuts, securing the burner tube to the valve. Use a quarter-inch socket to unthread the bolts, securing the valve. Detach the old valve. Before you install the new burner valve, confirm that the gasket is intact. Now insert the valve into the manifold and replace the bolt to secure. Insert the burner tube into the new valve and tighten the nut. Align the spark switch on the valve stem and snap it into place. Realign the control panel and replace the screws to secure. Replace the burner control knobs on the appropriate stems. Reposition and lower the main top. Making sure the orifice holders and spark electrodes protrude through the openings, snap the main top into place. Rethread the screws to secure the orifice holders to the main top. Replace the burner bases, making sure the spark electrodes align with the holes. Position the burner caps. Replace the burner grates.
With the repair completed, plug the power cord back in, turn the gas supply back on, and your range should be ready for use.